in the last episode, we built two airports, an amazing plane, and we also raided an ancient city. Stab is right next to your door. But Mr. Pearson gave us a mission. I don't have any form of dye farm of any kind. A dye factory. Yeah. So today we set out on our quest to build the ultimate dye factory. And we also fix some issues with our plane. But first, I need you to excuse me for one second. So I have to build a dye farm. A dye farm? No, a dye factory. That's what Mr. Beardstone wanted. I can't let this guy down. But dye factories are hard, particularly the blue dye. I think I can only get it in certain biomes. Oh, there's the sea duck. All this is jungle. This won't do. But I think there is a... Yes, look at that. This should be a blue flower biome. Yes, look, you can see them over there. Corn flowers. I think you can turn this into blue dye. And using the millstone, we can get way more. Yeah, it looks like around here is where I'll build it. It's not that far away from my house. And it looks like a big enough area. There's only that hole over there. Looks like someone had fun with real... What? What? This is a mess. Ah! Okay, I think I'm gonna go get some stuff and we'll get started with the planning. It looks like Stam has automated a lot of the create components. It would be a shame if this went to waste. Oh, he's here. Stam. Hello. I, uh, you know, I, I noticed you have a lot of, of components here. Of course. Just filling your storage and I was just, you know, helping you get rid of some of them. Helping me get rid of it. Yeah. All right. I think I got everything I need over here in these backpacks. First, let's clear the area the only thing that is bound to location is the flower farm it needs to be inside the plains biome so i'm going to build it around here the rest i'll figure it out as i go this is not going to be the definitive materials but i need to get an idea at which height i'm going to build this looks like a big enough area to place the farms that will produce all the dice the first thing we're going to build is the flower farm this is a vanilla design based on a tutorial by a youtuber called more things but we'll make some improvements to it using create blocks like like for example, we'll change these solid blocks over here for encased fans, but looking backwards. This will allow us to automate the item collection by using just a water wheel. And by the way, yes, we'll be powering all this from underground. Flick the lever. There we go, the items should slowly but surely make it over here. They are stopping right at the last block. We'll just add another water wheel and speed this up. There we go, that's much better. The hoppers were backing up, so we'll just use chutes instead. Item bolts here, just like so we'll make a bunch of filters and smart shoots let me see place the smart shoots here along with four hoppers and four composters use all the items we already produced to create four filters let me see if i do this another smart shoot here and this one will just take care of the corn flowers this will go into a millstone that will power later and all the dye will come to this output right here now we feel like delivered we should get just the corn flowers over here while all the other flowers flowers and the weed seeds get composted and after a little bit of head scratching i managed to make the boom meal loop up to the dispenser so the farm is kind of self-sufficient let's just cover it with glass so items don't fall out and now all we have to do is power this millstone which we'll do later now we'll move on to the next machine in our dye factory i love being over here and seeing the plane just go this is going to be a two tall flower farm i don't think it's worth it to show you the step by step like i did with this one by the way yes i had to enclose it to prevent stuff from flying out i'll build it first and we'll talk later what on earth is happening here oh they are coming from the hole but this looks off something may be wrong over here should i mess with them yeah let's do it there we go now if i'm not this what now if i'm not mistaken if i punch one of these guys the golem is doing it's doing nothing dude come on this is getting insane it's like an ant fountain all right i think i'll just get out of here i just found another wandering trader and this one has another sombrero dude one sombrero what is this cockroach I'm gonna buy some of the coverage stuff. I'm not gonna say no to foreign food. We are back! And I built not only the two tall flower farm, but also a lot more. But let's get started with the farm. Essentially, you have an input for the bomb mill here, which gets split between those four dispensers. The dispensers bomb mill the flowers, and the items land on top of this mud block and then get picked by this hopper. Then they get sent to these millstones, which turn them into dice and send them over to this over here and this is where the fun begins and by fun i mean 
this. This is quite a complex system, but I'm sure I could have made it smaller. But it is what it is. I'll try to briefly explain it, starting with the two tall flowers. This farm produces a lot of dice, and we want to do different things with them. For example, all these dice will get filtered by this brass funnel, and then get sent to the final destination down there. The yellow die outputs over here and gets split, so we can get some yellow die over here, but also use some to combine with red and make orange. The red die over there gets split in three ways, one to get just red die another one for the orange and another one which combines with blue from the corn flower farm to make purple and we also split blue dye in three one for the purple another one for just the blue dye and the other third goes over here where it will combine with the green dye and make cyan all the dyes just fall down and get sent over here where they go to the same storage none of the machines are powered yet so i think it's time to take care of that i gotta say all this create is making my head spin I heard Beardstone has a wool shop around here. Let me see if I can find it. Beardstone! Oh. Mr. Beardstone! Bruno? Oh, I hear him. Turn around. Oh, oh, you. Oh. I've been chasing you down the high street. Right behind me. Yeah, well, I mean, I can't miss you. You've got a giant sombrero. Yeah, it's quite hard to miss. Mm -hmm. Beardstone, I come to you once again asking, requesting something. And I have a need, and I think you, have, you get the answer. I need a lot of wool because I'm making some power sources, and uh, I need wool for windmills. Ah, well, lucky for you, we have a brand new clothes shop over here, the Explorer and adventure shop no Ooh, no no i don't i don't need clothes beerstone i need wool no 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 but look 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 wool oh very nice it, i can just like yeah 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 just help just help yourself okay 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 i mean if you do want to try on some clothes we do have a changing room over here as well so you know feel free to peruse the rest of the uh the clothes but um yeah wool help yourself okay okay beerstone do you have i i don't know if you notice i am a big fan of sombreros i have do you sell sombreros over here uh, i i don't know it's, it's it's not a hat shop i'm afraid um, oh okay i don't have any any hats for sale no hats it's it's just it's just clothes and even the clothes technically aren't for sale. It's just wool. So, so hats are not clothes. Okay. No, well, hats are accessories. Okay, Pearson, you know a lot about fashion, so I'm going to trust you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever said that in my entire life. <laughs> okay, Beardstone, I got the, I got what I needed. I may come over here and try on some clothes, really. Uh, I've been wearing the same thing for, like, years, man. Ah, it's fine. Oh, actually, while I've got you here... Yes. Um, did you wish to accompany myself and Stam on a lovely uh, a candlelit... Beardstone, no! And that was his season finale. <laughs> <laughs> We shouldn't talk in the middle of the street tour. You saw that coming for a long time, didn't you? I, I didn't want to interrupt you because I was being polite. Right, watching me die. I don't know if that's polite or not. But what I was going to say is, uh, yes. would you like to join me and Stan for a uh, lovely candlelit dinner send-off? That's Are you asking me? I don't know. Date beer, so I, okay, for, why not? Yes. Well, I, it's, it's, it's more of a like a three-way date. There's, there's, there's Stan's going to be there as well. But I was thinking, you know, we could we could maybe maybe go to the Italian, have, have a nice pasta oh. meal. Okay, I, I think it's okay. I'll, I'll write it down on my schedule, Beardstone. I was gonna say I haven't actually told haven't actually told you the day yet, but I'll, yeah. uh, I'll 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 send you a message. We'll we'll get something in the diary, Bruno. But I think it'll okay. be nice to you know sit to sit down, have a nice meal, reminisce about our time here, and and just have a nice little send off. Reminisce? Oh, a send off? Wait, what? What? Oh, I got a Beardstone. I have to finish my build and like now if there's gonna be a send-off oh yeah 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 yeah. there's gonna be a send-off i've just got to finish the firehouse i've got to do the park and a couple of other little bits and bobs and then uh and then it's dinner time all right beardstone thank you so much dude for the wool all right take care dude and uh, i know it looks like i'm following you i'm just going back into here because that's what i was building okay, okay, okay. enjoy the wool <laughs> bye goodbye now that i got the wool all we gotta do is clear some space for the windmills there we go this seems like enough space i'm thinking about hiding the windmills underground at least at the beginning why do these guys always get trapped underground i think three max out windmills will be enough to power all the six machines we'll need 128 sails on each one 
But yes, this looks as ridiculous as I imagined. But this will do for now. Let's just connect them and have one single output. All right, I connected everything. And frankly, this is looking quite scary. But now all the machines are powered. And I also got these chain drives over here that I can use to send the power over to the machines on this side. I'm excited to give this a try, but we need to build another machine first. This is also vanilla designed by a guy called... Do not build this farm. I repeat, do not build this farm. I explain why later on the video. And there you have it. This is a bone meal farm that will not just provide us with materials to make white dye, but also to feed these other two farms. Not really. And now the bone meal is getting distributed between these two ones. I also connected the output that turns bone meal into white dye and sends it over here to the storage while also splitting half of it to the cactus farm this will allow us to make lime dye that guy seems to be in quite a conundrum and speaking about the cactus farm i have a stream in not so long over on my twitch channel i'm going to try to build the cactus farm and two other farms of that stream so i'll do that and i'll be back with the results another sombrero yes please thank you so much i think i know what i'll use these two sombreros for i told stam to stop by my factory so i could showcase the machines after i build them but instead he did something way better. Thumb! Hello. What are you doing here, man? You told me to. Yes, but not yet. I haven't started. I, I am about to build the cactus farm. Oh my god, I got a mad girlfriend over nothing. Oh. Wait, 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 Stam! Yeah? Is it worth it to use a schematic cannon? If I have three schematics, will it save time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have the cannon? I don't have the cannon. I don't know. I never used one. I don't know oh. how to use it. Okay. Here, put the schematic in there. I have a schematic in there. Do you have a clipboard? What? Do I have to put the items in or no? Okay, so you have to have a clipboard, um, which maybe I can make one actually. Then you get yourself a clipboard. You throw that. Okay, actually, I think you have to throw it through the shift. do it. Okay. Just, what is this? Uh, shift, click it in there. Yes. No, like open the inventory and just like get it in there. Oh, you just place it on top of it. Go into the inventory and put it in the top corner. There. Okay, material checklist. Yeah, there you go. Now you take it out. Yeah, and look at yeah. it. That's everything yes. you need to get. Put that in a backpack, for example. And then when you have everything in the backpack, you just place the backpack right next to the schematic cannon. And if you have all of the items you need inside of the backpack, and then give it gunpowder, and then you just click play and it works. My schematic has one creative motor over there. I forgot to remove it. Yeah, but that's fine. It, it won't, it just won't place that block. Okay, it just places all the blocks that I have given it. It places all the blocks you have given it, yeah. And then you can okay, just, nice. instead of that creative motor, you hook it up to power, uh, which you have down here. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna, I, I have to give this a go to her. You are telling me I build these things by hand. Yeah. Yeah, but people, before the video, Bruno, people like when you place the create components. Trust me. Yeah, but I went like, dude, I, I, I just went, oh, I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Because some parts of this, they are not create. Like, two of these farms are not create. I did put some create stuff in them to make them interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy, this looks like this looks way better than my dye factory. You have a dye factory where here? No, in my old world. So you just you did this what I'm doing now. Do you have any advice? Mm, no, but anyways, Bruno, I have to go again. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. He's going to. He's going to. He did it. He disappeared. All right. I think I got everything. So now I just click this and press play. Oh, dude, this is insane. Why didn't I do this before? Look at that. All right, looks like all we gotta do now is place the cactus. Little did I know that was going to be the hardest part. Don't tell me he doesn't even have cactus. So I had to go out and get my own cactus. I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. I was looking for a desert and what on earth is this store? A whale. I punched the whale. I traveled for a long time to very remote places until finally. Right here cactus we found it dude what is this i it don't it's not attacking me so i'm just gonna leave it all right he got like a stack and four cactus let's get out of here so i finished the cactus farm and built two more using the cannon this is magic man we are back and the three farms are complete starting with this one the cactus farm this is a design i made where as you can see those mechanical saws collect the cactus as soon as it grows they just get sent over here into this chest for now as you can see we are getting quite a lot already we let it turn into die and send it down the system we also built a tree farm the top part is inspired by a design by rocket 14 and i did an addition on the bottom side which
which makes the die. The logs get sent down there and blaster into charcoal, which then gets processed by these millstones and get turned into black and gray dye. But that is not everything this farm does. It also composts the apple and the saplings and turns them into bone meal, which then gets mixed with black dye and turned into light gray dye. And last but not least, over here we have this cocoa bean farm. This is a design by the amazing Chira Lore. She has a full tutorial on how to build it, but explaining quickly, when these observers detect that the cocoa beans have grown, this part gets moved over here and collects all the cocoa beans. There we go, you can see it in action, it's quite quick. I just added a part that collects them, mills them into brown dye and sends the brown dye all the way to the main storage. And speaking about the main storage, I discovered that you can dye the belts just like this to signal the dyes. I feel like this is super useful. We still have to connect these two outputs, but first there's something we need to talk about. This farm design sucks! It produces almost the same amount of bone meal that it consumes. It's not producing nearly enough bone meal to send to this farm, this farm, and send white dye to all the other parts that require it. The thumbnail said 5,800 bone meal per hour, but it didn't tell you that most of it goes back into the farm. So I'm sorry, but I am not sorry. Instead, we are going to build this amazing design by Il Mango, which to be honest is what we should have done from the start. I had to move the farm from over here to all the way over there because it just didn't fit lesson learned don't trust the numbers on the video title all right i'm gonna set that up connect everything underground and i'll be right back but first there's something about this plane that we need to fix something about this plane was not quite right i think we're gonna see it once it moves yeah something yes it leaves <laughs> it leaves some of its pieces behind and also we need we, we need yeah look at that we need to fix that right now this assemble train there we go. First thing I want to fix is this. We move this guy down so we could place a slab here and cover it with wool. All right, let's glue these parts together. This with that. And there's also one of the propeller heads. I think it's like this, this one. The rest should all be glued up. If we do control can connect. This is better. It looks better. We we have to see with the plane because they want to conserve the feeling of like, oh, we are going to crash against the side of that hill. If I look at this, I'm going to free cam. You can see the curve there. If I press control, you can see the difference between this being softer. This is a terrible curve and this is a good curve. Okay, this looks like a way better curve. Plane right. That's okay. That's as good as it can be. Lastly, we clear the area in both airports so the plane could take off and land without crashing. We are back! And I've done a lot of changes in the factory. First and foremost, we moved the cuckoo bin over there to over here since we don't have the old bone meal farm anymore. I also connected every single farm to the main storage and took an output from that to the front into our own drawer storage. We used the storage controller to to distribute the dice each one of them to their own box we also have put the void upgrade just in case they overflow this one for example has got 12.2k already so this is where you'll come and extract the dice from the farm we also have this switch in the middle which effectively turns the whole factory on and off i did it using these redstone links and sending them to each farm individually but also i added these threshold meters over here that make sure that only the farms that have low die get turned on over here you can see this farm the two tall flower farm only turns on when the master factory switch is turned on we don't have enough of any type of die and also if we have enough bone meal to make this run so right now the factory is fully functional and producing tons of every type of die i feel really happy about that but take a look at this place it looks terrible i think now it's time to start building around this and make it look good and we'll get started by the wireframe as you can see we already did some of that work over here and the wireframe is done this is what i used to guide me on the building and if you think it's too rectangular it's because i'm going with a brutalist factory kind of like the same style that i had on my house essentially just mark where some stuff is going to be we'll have the main building here that is going to be sectioned in different parts and then we'll have some horizontal lines over here following a reference i found online on the side we'll have something very similar with a big column in the middle and on the front we'll have the staircase 
is for the entrance and a room over here that will house the drawers with the dice. Since we are going with a similar style than on the house, I'll use the same blocks, cut limestone and the scorchia bricks. If you think this is lacking color, I have an idea for that that we'll do at the end. Now though, it's time to fill this wireframe. Why are there so many ants? I don't know though, look at this. Oh, they're hitting me. Oh, they're mad. Hell, Stam. why did you make me hit them? <laughs> Some they, they can climb up there. Oh, help. This is... I, I like this side. Ah! I don't have a bow. I would help you if I had a bow. I think it's in my backpack. Bring it out. Okay, let me see. Wait, I think I left something on in my factory. Give me a second. Ah! Why is he so framey, though? Let me reload. I'm back, Stam. Are you okay? You, you have a flamethrower, dude. No, I have flint and steel. I'm gonna get rid of your ant problem. Okay. I don't think they like me right now. No, they hate you, dude. Why did they get me to? They are after me. Light them on fire. Tam, you can do it, dude. I'm doing it. They're all dying. I I'm going to go into your circle of safety here. Yes, yes. Punch them, Bruno. How did you manage to get so many of them? They, they, they were just here. Oh, oops. You got me, dude. My bad. Why am I the ant hunter? Isn't that why you're here? They were getting into my tree farm. Because they are leaf cutter ants. They go after leaves. No, they grabbed your leaves. We are back! And we got a lot of progress done on the exterior of the factory. For this factory, I went with the Brutalist style. And I did find some images of Brutalist factories that I use as reference. As you can see, the main block palette is the one I showed you earlier. We got some black stained glass paints over here, the limestone and the scorchia. We used some geometrical designs for this, which I think look quite nice. And the entrance took me a while to get done. But I think we landed on a good balance. Over here on this side, Inside, we have a variation on the design of the front, including this vertical feature over here. We also did the roof of this entrance and the roof of the factory itself, including three amazing chimneys. These look really cool and give an industrial feel to the building. We use this variant of cobblestone over here on the roof and over there for the chimneys too. I know this looks quite plain color-wise right now, which is strange for a dye factory. As I said before, I have an idea in mind, but we'll take care of that in the detailing which will bring this whole build to life and also you know give it support this is looking quite terrible right now and also we don't have either an entrance or an interior so i'm going to go and take care of that and i'll show you the results but now it's time for Bruno Reads Your Comments, where Bruno reads your comments. Starting with TTWQ4FD. I love your accent. Please read my comment. I don't have an accent. Everybody else does. But well, here we are. I read your comment. Sean Schwartz says, you made me laugh out loud several times in this episode. Subscribe. Well, Sean, I'm glad to hear that, dude. That is the whole point of this. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. And I appreciate your comment. Winnick says, you are from uruguay so that is why your name is bruno dan ui ah you got it right on the last episode we got a lot of comments about the plane and tons of them were about making the takeoff and the landing smoother well i got good news for you because on one stream this week we actually did just that as you saw in the video and speaking about streams we got eddie asking is it possible to go live on twitch and on youtube at the same time i think it is possible lady i'm going to give it a try this week so keep an eye on open for youtube streams elilistic says this is so freaking cool i love how the plane turned out daily i agree with that and the last comments on the plane we got ty chapel saying name the plane ronald mcdonald and ranosian saying sky banana hey you two smart guys i see what you did there we are a comment by casey grandma saying i love the plane bruno also i am really enjoying this series and i hope you guys do more things together it's so great to hear you are enjoying it casey i'm enjoying it a lot too but but it's time I reveal this. This is my second to last episode from this series. My next video is going to be from a new series on 1.21 Vanilla. And after that video is out, I will release the season finale from this server. Chibi Chula saying, you know what? With Stam and Beardy teasing you about your bathrooms, I think you need to build a full bathhouse. Oh, and I think that if you are making a dye factory, it should have floors with splotches of color everywhere, like spilled dye. You know what, Chibi Chula? That gives me an idea. It's time to go back to the dye factory.
we are back and the factory is complete as you can see we added tons of color splotches all over the build which was the idea from the beginning we made the building black and white so then the colors will stand out but before we check them out let me show you the foundations we build using this variation of stone bricks and this variation of cobblestone which i think help giving the foundations a solid feel this goes all the way to the back with an added point of interest over here and of course the foundation continues on the back then we added some grass i thought it would be nice to have some green in our build with some bushes and lights here underneath just a little touch of green to connect the build with the foundations but let's get to the splotches i really like how they turn out we got a lot of them over here on the roof and on the chimneys and as i was saying on the stream where we build this i think the splotches give the build character the factory without them was a nice building of itself but this concept really brings it to the next level in my opinion finally for the entrance we added this staircase using scorchia and more limestone and if you go in you'll see that we decorated the floor using all the colors of the dice and we completed everything else using limestone and scorchia oh and we also added this variant of glowstone which honestly is one of my favorite blocks from this mod pack added a little bit of scorchia here to support the dice oh and i almost forget liver turns the factory on you know just in case i gotta say overall i am absolutely happy with how this build turned out building all the farms and connecting them was quite a challenge particularly the one i had to do again but i learned a lot on this project we still have to build a road to connect it to our base but that is something that will leave for the next episode my name is bruno and i am out goodbye